QGIS is super flexible when it comes to geographic file formats. So you can use it just to translate from one file format to another if you want to. In this case, I've got a GPX file, the kind of file you'll be able to download from Strava, and it's showing the route for stage 17 of the Tour de France in 2023. So it's a GPX file, and that's the yellow line. I want to save this as a shape file, but I could save it in just about any other geographic file format. To do that, I'll right click on the layer. And then I go to export and then save features as. Once I'm here, I just need to choose the format I want to save to. So I could save it as a basic spreadsheet in CSV format, but I could save it as geo package, shape file, and you can see all the options here, including things like GeoJSON, KML, or MapInfo. In this case, I'm gonna choose Esri shapefile. Don't type directly into the file name box, but instead click the browse button to choose where to save the file to on your computer. In this case, I'll just call it stage 17, and then I'll hit save. If I want to change the map projection, so the coordinate reference system here, I can change it to anything I like. Uh, these are the list of my recently used ones, but I can click the little CRS button and choose a different one if I want to. When I'm exporting this file, if I don't want to include all the columns in the data set, I could deselect them and just choose the ones I want. In this case, I'll keep them all. And from there, all I do is click OK, and there we have the new file, shape file, appears on screen. So that's how you can translate between different file formats in QGIS.